In this video, I'm going to show you how to create JavaScript alerts and give you some details on when you want to use them and how to use them. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So up here, I have a simple HTML page created with some script tags in the header and the page is output below in this browser and just has this piece of text here. And what we want to do is add an alert. And all we do is type alert, pretty simple. If I could spell, it's simple. And then open and close, regular brackets, have some single quotations if you want a string of text to show up. So in this case, I just want to say this is an alert. We of course end that line with a semicolon. And then if we save this, come down here and refresh this page, we get this little pop-up that says this is an alert. And that's exactly what we have as text in our alert. Now you can also input variables. So if create, create a variable called my alert and let's make that variable say this is a variable. Then we just take my alert and we paste it into here where we remove everything including the quotations for using variables, we don't put quotes from the variables because the quote will just print out the string as it is. Without the quotes, it will actually fill in the variable contents. So let's save this and refresh this page here. And this says this is a variable. And one of the great uses of using alerts is not for everyday website user experience because it's terrible. People hate alerts, I hate alerts. You use it for debugging. So you can insert alerts at certain points in your code where you think stuff might be breaking or you want to confirm something's working properly, you'd insert an alert there. And an even better method is using the console where you can add this information instead of an alert pop-up, you can add this to the console log, which means you can do it on the live site and people won't even notice. Visitors won't even notice you're doing this development on there if you're doing the, the console log versus the alert, which they're clearly going to see that pop-up. So if you want to learn about the console log, check out the other tutorials on my channel. So that's how easy it is to create and use JavaScript alerts. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.